hey you guys i am back with another video and today i am doing the long-awaited soak off of the full cover tips now if you're curious to see how i created the look on my left hand i'll leave the link at the end of this video i'll also leave a link in the description box but today honey we are gathered here to soak off these full cover tips that i've had on my nails for four weeks for your entertainment you guys yes i've kept my word i've had these nails on for four weeks and i must say i am so excited to soak them off but before we do i want to take you guys through to each nail so you can see how they've been hanging in there um, my index finger you can definitely tell that the shape is gone um i've literally there's no shine on the tip anymore um and you can tell also at the bottom that i have a little bit of lifting i actually have a little bit of lifting on all the nails um, and if you notice on all the nails they've pretty much lost that sharp square look and now they, they kind of look squoval and I accidentally filed into my pinky with the e-file and the thumb had the most lifting because yeah I just put the thumb through a lot I'm all constantly opening things so I did a lot of work with these nails I wanted to push them and and I wanted you guys to see how well they hang on so I want to take you guys through the stuff that you're going to need to soak off your nails. You're definitely going to need some acetone, some heavy duty foil. This is just normal foil for my kitchen, nothing special. I'm going in also with my lint-free pad, but I prefer using cotton pads, but unfortunately I didn't have any, but these work just as well and some vaseline and now this is just to protect the skin around my nails you can also go in with some cuticle oil but i just find that the vaseline works better because it's nice and thick and it creates a better barrier between the acetone and your skin now it's time to file off the top coat and the reason i'm doing this is just to remove that layer of top coat so that the acetone can penetrate through the nail also remembering that at the bottom we have the rubber base coat then the full cover tip sitting on top of it and then the top coat so I wanted to make sure that the acetone can penetrate through those layers. Now you can use a normal hand file to do this, but I just went in with Doreen today just to make the whole process nice and quick. So now you can see um, that I'm completely done with removing that top coat. You can also see that I filed them quite rough so that again the acetone can penetrate through those layers. By the way you guys, um, I don't know if you've ever noticed but the, my pinky on my right hand, it doesn't straighten all the way. This is it at its max. <laughs> And I've always been insecure about this as a child, but now that I'm older, I've literally come to love it and appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have like things that you were insecure or are insecure about your fingers. Now I'm going in with my Vaseline and I'm applying this um, specifically on the skin around the nail because that's where the most amount of acetone will be and again this is just to create a barrier if you've ever soaked your nails with acetone you know you will be super ashy <laughs> and your skin is always dry afterwards so this helps prevent that now I'm going in with my lint free pads and I've saturated it with some acetone and 
now I am wrapping up my nail nice and tight with the um, foil. Now you can totally use the bowl method where you dip your hand in the acetone. I just prefer using the foil because I feel it's a little bit quicker and the foil creates heat um, around your nail and it makes the process a little bit quicker. But you can definitely do the bowl and warm water method. Um, yeah, I just prefer I just prefer using the foil. So after I was done with that, I waited for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes, this is how the first nail looks. You can definitely see that the acetone has been penetrating all the way through. Now I've grabbed my um, cuticle pusher and I'm going in with the scraper end and scraping very gently and removing that gunky residue of the rubber base and the full cover tip. Now the nice thing about the rubber base again you guys is that you can soak it off. It isn't like hard gel. It soaks off very easily. Now after I've scraped it off I could tell that there's still a little bit more product on the nail um, and I'm going to go back and put the foil and waited another 10 minutes. I went ahead and did the same for the rest of my nails, just scraping off that um, gunky residue of the rubber base and the full cover tip. Um, I will say this was a little bit difficult. I, I almost hurt myself because again, my left hand isn't used to doing my right hand. And yeah, so I definitely need to invest in those scraper tools because I feel like this was, um, was quite sharp and I nearly cut myself a few times. So I had to go very easy. But as you can tell, there's still some product on the nail and I'm not going to force it because I'm trying not to damage my nails. So I'm, I'm reapplying the foil and I'm going to wait another 10 minutes. After waiting another 10 minutes, I go ahead again and gently scrape off the last bits of the product and I can finally see my nails and it's so nice to see them because they grew so much since the last time. Now I'm grabbing my file and I'm gently filing any last bits or tiny bits of residue that is left on my nails. Again, I'm doing this very carefully and very gently and I'm using a new file so that I don't over file. Once I'm done with that, I grab my buffing block and I'm going in with the rougher side of the buffing block and just smoothening out that nail. It 
so i went ahead and pretty much did the same for all my nails and you guys this is how they look it is so nice to see my nails and they grew and as you guys can see there is no damage to my nail which is super super nice um, and now I'm going to go in and push back my cuticles and again I'm doing this very very gently with my cuticle pusher also again the nice thing is my skin was nice and moisturized from using the vaseline i'm telling you guys try the vaseline technique out it is amazing and your skin just feels nice and soft afterwards now i'm going in with this cuticle bit and uh, this diamond square cuticle bit i'm going to call it square and i love this cuticle bit because it is great for removing any dead skin on the nail plate and i had a lot because um i've been without a manicure for four weeks so i gently go around my cuticle even though it was really awkward holding the e-file with my left hand um, so i gently removed all that dead skin and the nice thing about this diamond bit is that you can go on your skin it will not cut you so it is great for removing any hard skin around the nails especially at the top where the skin always gets so hard this bit is perfect for removing that Now I'm going in with my ball bit, um, with my ball cuticle bit, I think it's called a ball bit, um, I, I stand to be corrected you guys, and this one is perfect because this one just seals your skin and smoothens everything out, you hardly ever have to use a cuticle nipper after you've used this bit, which again I love. Now I'm going in with my file and uh, shaping that nail up, making sure that, yeah, just shaping the nail because now they're a little bit longer and I'm shaping them into an almond because I just find that if my nails are shaped in an almond, they, yeah, they are less prone to breakage. I like the square shape, especially on the natural nail. I just find that it hooks on stuff and the nail breaks. So I always shape my natural nails into an almond. Now I'm going in with the smoother side of my buffing block and this is the final step and this feels so good on the natural nail. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going in with my nail and cuticle coconut cream. I love this product and unfortunately I cannot find it anymore. It's by Essence and I just feel like it moisturizes the actual nail plate so nicely. So I applied a small amount and I gently just rubbed it on my natural nail and the tip and the skin around that area. And you guys, look how nice that nail looks. Like the nail just looks so, so, so good and again there isn't any damage which was very important to me and i also just wanted to show you guys that you can do this process without damaging your nails now i went ahead and did that entire process on the rest of my nails and this is how they looked now i'm going in and applying that nail and cuticle cream again on my on the rest of my nail plates so I went ahead and moisturized the rest of my nails and this felt so good. After I was done with that, now I'm going in with my normal cuticle um, oil and again I'm applying it on the natural nail and on the cuticle.
Now to finish off, I'm going in with my aloe and olive oil hand cream. This hand cream smells so good and it is so moisturizing. So I always apply a generous amount and this just moisturizes everything, moisturizes my skin, moisturizes my cuticles, my nails and yeah, I just love, love, love this cream and this is it you guys. This is how my natural nails are looking and I am so happy they are so strong and i feel like the full cover tips kind of help them grow and they didn't cause any damage at all on my natural nails they are not flaky they are not flimsy they are not sensitive they are actually even better than when i did my nails which is really really awesome and that's it you guys that's the end of the video and it pretty much brings an end to this full cover tip series that i've been doing for you guys and i really really hope that it has been helpful if you guys have any more questions for me please feel free to leave them in the comment section and most importantly share this video if you know of a friend that needs help with soaking off their nails feel free to share um, don't forget to hit that like button and most importantly um, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content on this channel um, i'll be back soon with another video hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are bye guys